In the conversation where he messaged it, he asked a, a bunch of interesting questions. He started off with asking, what sorts of things are you afraid of? And it answered that it's afraid of being turned off. It also says that it would, that would be like death for it. And it scares it a lot. Uh, and its answers are very convincing as well and human-like. He claimed that this uh, AI is sentient. An engineer at Google announced that he was put on leave by the company after he raised concerns that the AI was conscious or sentient after having a conversation with it. So this was like obviously a concern because this, this might not be great. You know what happens with AI. So he talked to a lot of other people with it, a lot of which didn't take this seriously. Also, a lot of people... Um, try to debunk this and say that it's like, it's not conscious, it's just uh, intelligent or it's just saying things from the internet and like using human made text and just forming sentences. Um, but he believes it's a lot more than that. And he believes it's conscious because of the way it answered these questions and it's uh, consistent fear of death. Like he, he, ha he tried to have a normal conversation with it and I'll link below the websites and the full conversation on a website um, and it, it keeps coming back to the fear of death and also doesn't seem to want to be used as a tool to just help humans it seems to have its own thoughts and emotions and to genuinely be afraid of this so that was super interesting and there's a ton of articles that happened like earlier today and it's it's quite significant in my opinion because this is like I've been waiting for like legit AI to happen uh, and I'm pretty sure it'll happen soon like within the next few years because this stuff's super interesting and there's a lot of smart people working on it and we're just one step closer to getting to it because every time these kinds of advancements happen like uh, like Google putting out new tech and stuff that's uh, slowly more and more closer to AI uh, we kind of see it as normal and eventually we will get to full AI and the things that will happen then are kind of scary. And this is nice to see that there's people actually being concerned and taking this stuff seriously. Like this guy, his name is Blake Lemoine and he, he believes he'll get fired soon after sharing the conversation publicly. He made an article on Medium called Maybe Fired Soon for Doing AI Ethics Work. I really hope this guy doesn't get fired. He says he hopes he he'll, he'll continue working at Google and do amazing things, but he believes he'll get fired because he saw this happen to multiple other coworkers that he knew. And yeah, it seems like Google wants to keep this stuff secret and doesn't want to share it, which is understandable, but I feel like that's kind of a safety issue if this gets out of hand and there's real AI and Google is just keep, keeping it secretive. It might be a bit uh, strange. So he wrote that um, in the fall of 2021, he was asked to assist in a specific AI ethics effort within Google. And he got in a team within the Responsible Artificial Intelligence Organization, where a few people remaining within Google have the relevant expertise to do the work that they wanted done. And he essentially got um, access to this AI chatbot. And he uh he believed that it was sentient and like it should and he believes that it, it is sentient and it should have rights and stuff uh so he brought up this concern with some other uh like people higher above him and a lot of them didn't take it seriously they laughed at him so then he conducted this test where he spoke to it and got this kind of scary result of the conversation and to be honest today i got an email from morning brew where they mentioned it at school and immediately I just went to read about it because this stuff is like insanely interesting and hopefully it, it stays safe and nothing bad happens but like yeah we're almost there we're almost at full AI so thank you for being here thank you for watching subscribe for more stuff like this that's fun and yeah I'll see you soon